Hello folks and welcome. Today I am filming in 4K. Please adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. This is Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon. Today I'm going to talk about advanced concepts on using hidden folders for a couple of icons in your system. The Darth Vader with red eyeballs and that UFO for games are custom icons. It doesn't matter what icon set I will pick, they will always be the same. I'll show you some of the differences in a second. The subscription key is floating above your time and date area, 450 videos and growing. I have comments turned off. If you want a full explanation of why I did this, go check up my community tab. All right, welcome folks. So the first thing I'm going to do is change a couple of themes. So whenever I do this, a lot of these kind of icons will change, except for that one and this one, because this is, I'll switch to Yarrow for a second, and you can see there's different icons in here, but these are the same. And one of the reasons for that is because these are pre-assigned. And I'm gonna talk about some important rules too. The other thing, if you're curious, is the mouse pointer that I'm currently using today is not installed in the standard place I normally teach this, which is in your dot icons. There's nothing there. Uh, these are installed in the same location that Linux Mint installs theirs, USR share icons. I have another one also installed there. I have uh, videos on how to install mouse cursors in here and they need to be in folders. So I'm going to also make reference that uh, you be careful about moving your icons into this folder because they're reserves normally for complete icon sets, not the stuff that I'm gonna be talking about here. These are scattered icons. So some of the things that you need to think about if you do make your own icons, first of all, I would suggest PNGs, and uh, you can use lots of different tools. One of them would be like GIMP. Uh, you can see that I have this Stormtrooper with uh, no eyeballs, that's green. I'll just give you a little taste of it by hitting the space bar. And uh, you can see that this one is very dark eyes. This one has a different set of eyes than this one does. So these are just experimental things. Now you can see that I also have Darth Vader here with uh, different color lightsabers and intensity. It's a skinny laser versus this one has more of a glow. 64 by 64, 128 by 128 are good comfortable sizes if you're going to create your own. You can certainly download icons off the internet also, but whatever you do, once you start using one or more icons anywhere in your system, whether it's the replacement of the Linux logo, Linux Mint logo, or any of these categories, do not remove, uh, do not rename this folder, do not move this folder or the icon. Do not rename the icon either. If you are going to move this folder, let's say to your home directory, please use not dot icons, use dot icons too if necessary, because this folder is pre-assigned. I'll even delete it for you because there's currently nothing in it. Whenever I close and reopen my themes, I want you to pay attention to the file manager for a second. There is no dot icons in here. As soon as I click themes, it'll generate one. This has been happening for years with the Cinnamon desktop. It just generated that folder as soon as I click that. Just be aware of that. So you don't want to be putting your standard icons that I'm playing with here in here. They're generally reserved for standard icon sets inside of folders or mouse cursors in general. And no, my mouse cursor is not installed in this, as you can see. It's in here, the same place the system installs theirs, which is in this folder, which is owned by what? Root. All right, so that's where mine is installed. So basically, if I am using, um, I just need to find it in here somewhere. It's that one, it's called Radioactive. So Linux Mint puts a lot of things in here into this kind of folders. Well, to protect things. So you also have a lot of hidden objects in here. 
and more importantly just like dot local is an important folder dot config is another one dot cache is uh, where a lot of your web browsers store store their well I call it junk and uh, you get the idea okay control H now you see it now you don't so I created this folder in here and you can right click create a folder and put a period in front of it if you don't you'll have it displayed like that if you go right click I'll put in a dot test and hit enter and then I'm going to toggle this back and forth and you don't see the folder anymore control H shows hidden folders control H to turn that off click view show hidden I'm going to get rid of that and rid of that all right so one of the reasons that you may want to use a hidden folder is to keep from accidental deletions it's also a good way to store your icons kind of behind the scenes so you can use them later so one more time with the rule you name it what you want but you put a period in front of it to hide it then you deposit your own personal icons in here more icons that you downloaded off the internet wherever you got those things Okay, I'm just talking about custom icons today. Right click, configure. Our standard icon for Linux Mint looks like this. Okay, you normally don't even have the text. Control X to just give you that quick example. Now, depending on your screen res, as I do with most, if not all my videos, I always tell you what I'm filming in. When you're dealing with 4K, you may want icons that are bigger than 64 by 64, like 128 by 128. So you can scale them. And also, please remember, if you decide to pick system icons, they may change with the themes also. Sometimes even the emojis change. Whenever you browse for your own icons, though, uh, as you can see that Frank's document is not being displayed, it's looking for image files. Right click, show hidden. Now you can see that folder. Another way to do this is control H, control H. All right, we're dealing with the mint logo in this case, so I will put the Darth Vader guy back. All right, now you can see the path. It is a home Frank documents, and more importantly, it is in a hidden folder called period icons 2. So that is the path that the system needs when you reboot or turn off your computer and turn it back on. Your system needs a locator for all of these also. They're pre-assigned. You are now assigning this icon manually. And depending on the size of the icon, again, if it's 16 by 16, this will look blurry to you. If the icon is bigger, like a 64 by 64, 128 by 128 or higher, then probably the scaling factors, this part here, will look a lot better to you. It's sharper. And you can see it glows when I actually stick my mouse cursor on top of it. So, what about the menu icons? Well, again, are you doing a complete set? Then do an icon set. If you just want one or two of these things, I'm just doing one. Maybe you got two in mind or three in mind. Then you can manually assign them this way. Right click, configure. Menu, menu editor. Closing the primary box. Do we know what that icon looks like normally? Probably not. So let me turn all of these off to simulate no games installed. You can see it in here, but now it's gone. You need at least one game installed for it to view that icon. There's one thing. Like the other category, it would not be displayed if I didn't have this manually made power off icon. I created that. I've shown plenty of videos on how to do that. If I click on that icon, it'll power off my system. All right, more importantly, let's move on. I'm going to re put these back. So now you know how to hide icons also. So I'm going to click this one more time and hit properties. I'll let you see what the original looks like. Now you can see the path. I'm going to type in games. Some of you folks may remember this game and pool halls and bowling alleys. They used to be game consoles that had Pac-Man and things like that. It was Space Invaders. 
That's what I call that icon. Okay. If these icons do not change, um, do you really need to log out of your system or reboot? No. Right click on your panel, troubleshoot, restart cinnamon is that's one way. It refreshes the panel and the menu. Here's another way for you. Alt F2 small R as in reset. Third way, control Alt hold it down and escape. That also restarts cinnamon. Does, uh, have you ever seen uh, Cinnamon Restart? You probably have never noticed this, but a lot of developers of these applets, when you are doing system updates, reset your Cinnamon. Your settings is also, by default, has Restart Cinnamon when it uses too much memory. By default. I left this on so you can see that. All right, so in either case, you can see that I have that icon there. So if I change some of the themes, that possibly could change. So let's try a couple of different themes and see if it alters. Different icon sets, high contrast. It did. My Darth Vader guy did not. So what happens is I'm going to switch that back to something different. So now the game becomes that. But if I do this, I will uh, open up the editor, close the background, click that, and assign that manually with a browse button. And it's in documents. Again, if you don't see that, control H is one way, and right click and select show hidden. Um, it's called UFO, and I'm gonna assign this icon all right and I'm gonna close this and let you see that that's been assigned I will now switch to high contrast and the icon remains I will switch to a different theme and you can see that things are changing except for this icon has not changed so if you're wanting to do one or two that you want fixed icons this is how you can do that the only uh, rule of thumb, as I pointed out earlier, when you're doing this kind of stuff, uh, personally, probably a good idea to hide the folders with a period, but do not rename the folder once you use one or more icons. And more importantly, do not rename your icons that are currently in use. I have lots of icons so I can rename them, but if I'm currently using them, if I rename the icon, I want to reassign before I do a reboot or a restart or a shutdown. Otherwise, I end up with a wacky blank or something. I know that makes no sense to some of you, but your system needs a reference point to find these fixed icons. And again, you saw that it's not dependent on my icon set. I manually assigned this and it stayed even though I changed the icon sets. Thank you for watching.